just started over. Yeah, welcome, welcome back to that build. Stay. Today is a bit of a landmark. I finally, finally got the floor pans onto the chassis. However, much like my coffee here, I um, made it and stupidly forgot to put in the coffee pod, which then put in some water first before any real flavor came out. Then I put in the coffee pod and didn't remove the existing water or sugar. Why am I going into this? Well, I kind of skipped a step in doing these floor pans. Uh, this is my lead up. So what I did say I was going to do was tech screw in the floor pans onto the chassis and yeah. So that didn't happen and the rest of the floor pans on here started to weld up. Everything's going peach keen. Get to about halfway, roughly, not even in this one, and things start to go a bit, I was going to say pear shaped, but pears are rather smooth, strawberry shaped. There's a lot of uh, inconsistencies, and the problem is that I was starting to get the metal flex and bow and distort, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. The trouble is, it wasn't so much of a problem on this side. This side turned out reasonably well, all up. I've yet to really go over it properly though. I'll be getting a rubber mallet later for reasons you'll find out. But on the opposing side, annoyingly, uh, right at the very front where I had the most amount of trouble with that metal meeting up because of what the heck, uh, it of course separated completely. So. Laid the welds down, going about my business, cleaning up, and then I started to hear pops, basically three consecutive pops. It of course was the welds letting go, so they did not stick at all. Those uh, three or four, about four, uh, just completely let go. So annoyingly, uh, posting online, best result was to more or less drill those out so basically drill through the welds and everything like that uh clean up as best possible and then lay again what i didn't also do and uh kind of wish i did know about this one was to drill more like a, like a recess into the tunnel as well so just like little domes all along there so i kind of had a, a bit of grab i was laying onto a flat surface so flat surface and then doming onto the metal for the for the boards it just wasn't enough contact, wasn't enough, wasn't allowing enough penetration basically. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, my coffee's ruined. Uh, I will persist through it because otherwise it's a complete waste of a pod. And of course, my pans are laid, but not perfect, uh, as is everything that I strive to do and never turns out to be. But anyway, it's on there. I don't think I'm going to have any real problems, but. What I'm considering doing though is because I did lay these out rather spaced, like I think it's about a little over an inch every time, um, I may drill ex like extra holes uh, throughout. So maybe every second or third gap, I might actually drill through, uh, penetrate into the actual chassis itself otherwise, and lay a couple more welds along there just so I do know for certain that there is more grab going on. What I'm going to do, and unfortunately I won't be able to get to it straight away, is flipping the pan, getting a small rub mallet, and then of course going along and just seeing if the welds break, because if they break with a rubber mallet, you can well imagine what's going to happen when I actually go to put this thing on the road. Uh, a little bit of flex and yeah, seamed away. So for now, drill those out, lay some new welds in there, I'm going to get a hammer and go about that. I'm going to lay a bit of primer down as well. Um, just because we're wrapping up, I know this is a really long intro, sorry, but just because we're wrapping up, I think this is really going to be the last little work I can do because, yeah, I'm not going to be here for a while, going on a bit of a holiday, and um, so I'm not going to be near this thing for a fair bit. So I kind of want to get it into a point of non-rust, 
conformity, ability, I don't know, whatever. So I'll lay some primer down just to ensure that there's no rust on the uh, bare exposed metal, both top and bottom. And then, um, yeah, basically, that may actually do this episode. It's a very short one, but um, yeah, just, uh, it's a step forward, but my shoelace was undone while I was doing that step. I don't know, I couldn't think of a better analogy. So definitely the main point of concern for me is along this section here, because this is where there was a bit of a lip with the metal. So it wasn't a full flat surface, unlike the rest of the, uh, the metal. And even then I can still see a couple of holes here and there. Obviously the seam sealer will fix that. But because of this section along here, I am inclined to um, test it, so to speak. Uh, I'm hoping nothing separates. I'm also hoping I don't put any massive dents in it, so it will be somewhat gentle and somewhat firm. Hmm. Yeah. So, that one there. I'm not overly happy with. I think, pretty sure that is actually separated. So I'm going to mark that one and again, redraw that one and fill it again. So yeah, this section in particular, and I may just do the entire thing. I think I will actually do some welds in between. So of each of the holes there, measure out the difference. And then of course do an extra layer drilling down a bit further and penetrating the uh the subframe as well so hopefully doing that will give a really nice firm contact patch the amount of spot welds on here before was insane there was a ton and i thought it was a bit overkill personally but 
I kind of see the method in it. Um, I really wish I had a spot welder that could do that. Just would have made things so much easier, so much cleaner, so much neater, much better, etc., etc. But just don't have it, and it's working with what I got. So only one weld on this side to redo, which I'm really quite happy about. To be honest, it's a bit of a question mark if I even really need to do it, but I am going to do it anyway, just because. Other side, about a handful, so not really that bad. There was a bit of separation, two consecutive ones there, pretty much the same as at the front, really. So redo those. I think there's one at the back. I'm just going to redo that one anyway, just for it, even though I'm going to put some extra welds in in between. I'm just going to redo that well regardless, and then of course one more at the front. So overall, not a bad result. Again, complete amateur novice, never done anything like this before. It's, it is what it is. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm happy with it enough. That's the main thing, in my opinion. So yeah, it's, uh, it's turned out well. I finally got four pans back onto this chassis. I, it seemed like a massive daunting task when I started this. and. I was prepared to pretty much give it to a shop, have them sort out the chassis, get it back, and then I don't know what I was going to do with space frame. Same situation. I had no welding skills. So it's come this far personally. I'm pretty happy. Um, still got a long way to go. Obviously, there's still much more to do. Then there's the, uh, the factor of the motor. And that'll be another thing. Again, I am heavily looking into that one and still tossing up exactly the route I want to go. But I'm getting ahead of myself again. I'm... I just want to get to that end point of having this car into a running, driving state, and I can see it in the distance. It is so far away, but it's just one of those things I just keep thinking about what can and will be, and yeah, it's, uh, it's a long way to go, but I am looking forward to next year, getting stuck into this more, and of course, hopefully, making some really good progress. So... That's pretty much the year done. Uh, floor pans on, which is where I wanted to be, which is great, so I got that far. And of course, then adding some reinforcement plates and I've got another idea as well uh, for a bit more chassis rigidness, improvements, etc. So I'll be looking to that at the same time. I've got to get some uh, supplies for that one. Uh, hopefully some freebies actually. So um, yeah, some scrap steel but, uh, coming through. So hopefully that'll be... Uh, yeah, that'll be good. So anyway, rambling on as always. So I'm going to press on with these welds and um, pressing on with my holiday. I will not be doing an episode next week. Um, it's more or less going to be my sign off along with the following consecutive week. They both land on Sundays as such. So yeah, I will see you guys on the New Year's otherwise, but uh, more of this to come obviously. So do stay tuned. I do appreciate uh, all the new subscribers and everything like that. Um, thank you for the likes, comments, suggestions, all that sort of thing, which I do get. They are very much appreciated. And of course they do help me in building this because I'm not a builder, I'm, I'm not. I am an amateur, complete amateur, learning from basically building this. So I've done a few other things in the past, but this is my biggest ever uh, job that I've ever, ever, ever tackled. So it's been a learning curve, but it's been a fun learning curve and I can't wait to finish it and enjoy it. So anyway guys, that is gonna do it again today. Thank you very, very much for joining me. As always, like, subscribe, comment below, etc. Tell your friends, tell your family, Tell your neighbor to first do the work, then research, then come back and do the work afterwards. It works that way. Anyway, guys, until next time, cheers.